Hey everybody, it's Aiden here once again, and welcome back to R Factor 2, as for the first time in ages, it's time for a mod demonstration, because I do more than just tell stories. What I've got here is something that almost passed me by, and that is the Super Torah mod for R Factor 2 that was released only very recently. Now Super Touring was basically what made the BTCC so great in the 90s. We had works teams from Audi, Peugeot, Honda, Nissan, Ford, Volvo and Vauxhall, plus all the privateer teams as well, all racing on the same track for two separate championships, manufacturer and privateer. And then there was the drivers, Alain Menu, Ricard Rydell, Laurent Aiello, Tim Harvey, John Clennon, Jason Plato, Matt Neal, Yvonne Muller, and even the odd appearance from F1 drivers such as Gabriele Tarquini, Mark Blundell and Nigel Mansell, especially that race at Donington where it was pissing it down and Mansell carved everybody up like they were nothing. And the Ford Mondeo Mansell was driving is today still one of my favourite racing cars, as is the Nissan Primera. So it's easy to see why this era of 6 cylinder 2 litre engines is considered to be the BTCC's glory years, before it ended as it got too expensive and everybody went to DTM or World Touring Cars. To put it into perspective, a 1990 Vauxhall Cavalier cost £60,000. In 1998, where this mod aims to replicate, that same sort of car would have been £250,000. So then, this mod contains three cars from that era, the Volvo S40, the Renault Laguna and the Vauxhall Vectra. The others, such as the Audi, Nissan and so on, may come in the future if the mod is popular enough. And it is a conversion of a GTR2 mod, I believe, but all necessary permissions have been granted to the person that converted it to R Factor 2. So I thought I would take the Renault here for a spin to see what we might expect in the future, as the mod is at version 0.54. So while we're in a British touring car, I've got to take it to a track used in the BTCC. And I thought I'd take it to a track I've not driven in a very, very, very long time, and the track I drove most in the old Toka game by Codemasters, and that track is Croft. So let's go and see what this thing will do. Okay then, so here we are at Croft in sunny Yorkshire. Now if you're wondering what that little fluorescent strip is underneath Alan Menu's name, it was an indicator to the stewards, to the people in the grandstand and to us watching at home that that particular driver had made a pit stop in the feature race. So in the feature race, which was the longest of the two races they did across a weekend, they had to make a mandatory pit stop. They came in, changed at least two tyres, and then one of the mechanics would rip that little strip off, and everybody knew that that driver had made a pit stop and didn't have to stop for the rest of the race. Well, unless he had a problem, obviously. So what I thought I'd do here is just take this glorious Renault Laguna around Croft for five or so test laps, see what it's all about, and uh, see if it's worth downloading. I also like to follow mods through the duration of their uh, development so if this one keeps getting updated I'll be sure to do other uh, update videos for it so uh, temperature says it's 45 even though it's actually 12 but I'll work with it BBC Top Gear magazine sponsorship on the oh that's a good noise 2 litre engine come on you know you want to turn there you go And we've got a front-wheel drive car. Very heavy steering. Through this little section here. Now, I have not driven a front-wheel drive car in a race sim for a very long time. I'll lock the uh, the wheels up. Good God, that is so heavy. It's like I say, two liter engine, limited to six cylinders. And this was the track in the Toka Touring Car games that I drove the most. This and Donington, I think. I remember my way around, haven't driven here in about 
20 years, <laughs> something like that. I remember this section. Very flat, like most British race circuits, because it's an old airfield. Tires are so cold. There we go, that's probably got some heat into them. Probably not driving hard enough. I was taking it a bit too easy. There we go. That's got some heat in. I really hope someone makes the Volvo estate because that thing was iconic. And the Alpha that pissed off uh, Ford and Vauxhall with its dodgy rear wing. Went a little bit quicker through there that time. These corners are quicker than they look. Although this heavy steering might have been because these cars don't have power steering. Such a good corner that. Watching this on grandstand with my dad, occasionally you'd have Murray Walker doing the commentary. I'm going for first, says Cleland. Oh, that's Tarquini. Now it's on ITV4. No Murray. Instead, we've got uh, Tim Harvey and... Oh, who's the other guy? Paul O'Neill. Doing the commentary for the main races. Still highly competitive, still very good racing, but at the risk of getting all rose-tinted goggles, nothing beats the Super Taurus. Nothing beats the Super Taurus. I hope the uh, sound of the engine's coming through okay. Understeer from the front wheel drive. Oh, flashbacks to playing Toka Touring Cars. Back when Codemasters could actually make a game without it glitching to fuck. Oh, went in a bit too hot there. But now I'm getting used to the car. I'm able to. Chuck it to some of these corners a bit better. It's edge of the seat stuff in these. When British touring car ruled the world. Over steering a front wheel drive car, power out always. All right, let's go for one more lap, then, shall we? Love it. Just 
making the lines up as I go along now. Love that little chicane. Rear wheel's just been taking along, taking along for a ride. So much runoff here as well. Herman Tilker must be having an erection. That was a bit better through there. Surprisingly easy to drive. And if you're not used to front wheel drive cars, these are a good place to start. So I think I'll call it there. Park up. Show you it in situ. That's that one, isn't it? There we go. Cool. Brilliant looking car. Memories of the days gone. A la menus, Nescafe, Renault, Laguna. Wow. So that's going to be it from me today. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed uh, reminiscing, or even if you just discovered something that you may not have known about. Maybe a story time is in order for the old Super Tourers. I don't know. Even though you're probably going to go, do a story time on the Super Tourers. So if you have enjoyed this video, drop a like. And if you want to see more clowning around in the virtual world of motorsport, or even uh, all the real world of motorsport stuff I do here on this channel, be sure to subscribe, get the bell on, and all that good stuff. Two story times coming next week for you lovely people while I'm away on my holidays. And I'll see you after I get back. So until then, I've been Ada Millard. Have a cracking day wherever you live in the world. And if you do want to get in contact with me while I'm away, my email and all my other social media stuff is in the description. And I almost forgot to put a big thank you out to all my patrons on Patreon. They are on your screen right now. And if you want to join them, like I say, everything you need to know is in the description. So until next time, I've been Aidan Moore. Have a great day wherever you live in the world, and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.